I don't need them. Ooh. Well, um, hi. My name is Lisa Mexen, and I'm going to speak about spandex and leggings today. Um, I've been sort of into spandex for a long, long time, but I think now is the time for all of you to get into spandex as well. So, um, what makes spandex super special? Not a lot of people know that spandex is more durable than rubber and lasts longer. So, it's also really elastic. Spandex actually, um, the word itself came about from the rearrangement of the letters in the word expand. So it really expands, you know, to fit the form in which appeals to a lot of people who like spandex. It's kind of a fetish, but doesn't have to be. Superheroes wear spandex and um, so do a lot of like really cool people. Um, so I did, or I'm doing this project called 100 pairs of spandex leggings and um, the way it works is that people give me a word and then I use that word to go and select a pattern because spandex comes in like infinity of patterns it really is like unending infinity of patterns so I pick the pattern to match the word I make a pair of leggings I put a label with that word and the number out of a hundred and I ship it to that person so Right now, this top layer I'm wearing is Crush. And then underneath here, I have Southern Girl. And then um, a little lower, I have Tight. And this one is great, I think. It's uh, pensive. <laughs> this one, um, I dyed. The other cool thing about spandex is that it dyes really, really easily. So you could change the already huge plethora of different patterns and make it into even more different patterns. Um, so I'm just going to talk with my pants down for a little bit because it will take me too long to put it back up. I hope it doesn't make anybody uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so spandex was invented in 1959, so we're about to celebrate 50 years of spandex and how it revolutionized the world and the clothing industry. Um, so it was invented in 59 by a DuPont scientist named Joseph Shivers. I think that's kind of great especially since spandex is really silky and fun to touch. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, so he invented it and it's, um, it's a polyurethane uh, fiber. So basically when we tap out our oil supply, there's not going to be any more spandex. There's not going to be any more rubber or plastics. Maybe that's not sad for everyone, but it really makes my heart sing. So um, the other really cool thing about spandex is that, as I mentioned, it comes in so many patterns. Why? Because it's really easy to print on. You could use an offset, offset printing method to print. You don't have to weave the cloth. And it's so smooth and silky that it just goes right on. And any kind of pattern is a go. When you go to like spandex world or the house of spandex, it's just like walls and walls of rolls of wonderful, different, bizarre patterns. You know, when I say bizarre, I mean like this. Look, there is um, Jesus, there is um, Adam and Eve, as, as a thoughtful lady, and lots of flowers, all in one medley. I mean, someone designed it, someone made this happen. Um, someone in China, it appears, because um, <laughs> Nobody could really, I've been trying to research the designers for spandex and they're anonymous. So um, a lot of the spandex producers or rather the, all the manufacturers are in China and all of the um, distributors are in the States and Europe. So when you try to find out who actually designs the patterns, they're just like, well, it's, it's all this company or this company. And obviously it's not the company designing them, it's somebody doing it specifically and um, 
maybe I'll slowly start to pull them up. I, you know, I don't know if I could stand here with my pants down much longer. But these are my favorite. Actually, this is this is my pair. Um, whereas all of these other ones are pairs I borrowed from people who I made them for. Um, I hope they don't mind. I didn't really ask them. Hopefully they're not here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all about spandex. And um, my talk was called on spandex and bootle boot leggings, um, leggings, and um, boot legging because it's um, it's a totally anonymous source of infinite patterns and. Um, Somebody is making them and we're consuming them and we're seeing them everywhere. And um, if you care to learn who consumes spandex, I could I have lists I could share with you. But um, it's mainly just entertainers and um, ice skaters and athletes and um, pageant goers. Dolly Parton really likes spandex. <laughs> It's really a great thing. I know you guys are... Oh, one more thing I just want to tell you all before I step down. Um, there's a thing um, called... It's kind of like a cat suit, but there's a Japanese word for it that I'm blanking on right now. But um, it means um, a whole body cat suit, even with fingers and toes and a hood. Um, and it's like skin tight. It like creates a second skin. And they're really awesome. Thank you. Woo!